حمدکم نظرکم سیدی رسول کریم حبیب العظیم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم و صلاة و سلام عشف المرسلین سیدنا و مولانا محمد المصطفی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم بیمان دیدکم یا سیدی یا سلطان الاولی من شیخ عبد اللہ فیض الدغستان سلطان الاولی یا شیخ محمد نازم عادل حقان مانان شیخ شام کبانی شیخ عدن کبانی شیخ محمد عادل عبد خالق الخوش دوانی صاحب زمان سید محمد مهدی علیہ السلام وروح اللہ سیدنا عیسی علیہ السلام سیف اللہ سیدنا علیہ السلام ثم سبک صدیق سیدنا امہ سیدنا عثمہ امام الحسن علیہ السلام امام الحسین علیہ السلام سیداتنا فاطمہ تزا علیہ السلام فی برکات لیلت الرغائب and the blessed night in which the light of سیدنا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ السلام passed from سیدنا عبداللہ his blessed father into the holy wombs سیداتنا آمین علیہ السلام into that blessed womb and Allah عزیز و جاز sending immense openings upon this earth and the seal of creation to manifest from the kingdom of heavens coming to the earth to put the seal on creation that the deen of Allah complete, this way of Allah is complete and all of creation to reach their marifa. And they can't reach without the Imam, without the king to step into that reality first and everyone steps behind the king into the presence of Divinely realities and Divinely lights called the night of desires and inshaAllah Allah grant the desires that are of benefit to the souls of insan. So many times we get emails from people and particular impatient people that continuously, oh when is it going to open, when is it going to open and, and they have even a rude tone in their asking and challenging as if Allah This path is, is not meant for Allah to submit to us, astaghfirullah, but for us to submit to Allah And everything is on Divinely time, everything in the way of Allah is uh, not known to the people of dunya and the people of the material world. Who said, to us belongs the struggle and to Allah is the victory. What Allah deems victory is not what me and you understand of victory and when are things going to get better and when are things going to… That's not victory for Allah that your condition become better. That's victory for you and your nafs and our nafs and victory for Allah is when the servant through every form of difficulty struggles and strives. And, and that's why we were talking earlier about the seerah of Sayyidina Muhammad How many children passed away from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Rahmatan lil alameen, mercy of all creation, the most beloved of Allah As a father how many of his children did he have to wash and put into the ground? What type of heartbreak and, and trauma and difficulty, uh, one child people will collapse and, and can live any longer in this life. How many Prophet went through difficulties? They are the exemplars of faith, exactly that reason they are our example that every time you think life is hard, remember my life, I'm a favoured one from Allah that's, um, this is what Prophet saying to us, is always a reminder, look at my life, look at the life of my family because my family has not a special status where they were sort of walking on couches and, and grapes and, and, and food were being put into their possession. They had only suffered and fought and they fought Muslims, they fought their own faith just to keep going and keep the way of Sayyidina Muhammad and they weren't ever appreciated by their own community. How about the holy companions and Sahabi kiram, how much they fought from amongst themselves, not outside forces. Those were the fights with the Quraysh but from even within their own forces, how much fitna, how much difficulty. And Prophet then reminding for us, why should be anything different for you? Take a life in which the victory of Allah is, is, is a struggle 
And the one whom is victorious, who struggles through every type of hardship and every type of, of, of difficulty, Allah raises that servant's darajat in Divinely Presence. Not raising the servant in the dunya where you get uh, more money, more opportunities, more chances for us to become heedless and forget about Allah but Allah grace and rahmat that I dress you from lights, dress you from blessings, dress you from all these realities that you have no understanding about these realities. So when we talk about riqaib and blessings are coming and immense blessings are coming and these dresses of light are coming, people are expecting everything to become great and everything to, to be sort of opening. But these are called the openings of malakut and the world of light. And those openings actually may manifest in hardships in this world where you, you, you're struggling to, to keep and stay afloat from every direction there's somebody putting a hardship, a difficulty, fighting, yelling, screaming, every type of difficulty keep coming to the servant and Allah just wants to test if you have istiqam and firmness. Not you become rude, you don't become belligerent, you don't, you don't lose your character, you don't become the event and the test and, and, and the character of the test. We said that when, when Allah sends a dog to bark at you, your role is not to become the dog but your role is to remain the heavenly servant that through every condition remains a heavenly servant. And firm and firm and uh, even they say, up, it's, it's about time I, I, I give up, I can't do it anymore. And Allah just says, it's not time to give up, you keep going, keep going. And through every difficulty, this is the lives of these great souls, the greatest soul in Allah's creation, the, the life and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad How much, how much difficulty? that Prophet have and see and witness and endured. And with that difficulty the khuluqul azim that Allah gives that title, you're of a magnificent character. Not because everybody loved you and you have a great character but that I sent everybody to make difficulty around you. I put you in every type of test of difficulty. As I put other Prophets and other Prophets they pray for the destruction of their people. And every difficulty I put you in, I test you and I test you and you have of a magnificent character. Always praying for people, always, always opening and praying for an opening for somebody, having patience in, in, the, in the greatness and the blessed khuluq and character. And this is the example of these holy nights. That when we say lights are opening and blessings are opening, when Allah wants to bestow those realities upon a servant, they usually manifest as a hardship upon their physicality. When hardships come to the physicality, know that your spirituality is being raised. Every time a sickness comes to you, Allah raising you and dressing your soul. Every type, you say even, even if a mosquito bites you, Allah took away something. So many times people say, why? I thought we were holy, why, why these things are happening to us, why difficulties are happening to us? It's for that exact reason, the holier you are the more things come difficult towards you. <laughs> every type of mosquito bite you, everyone throwing rokes at you, everyone make a bad backbite and comment against you, then you know, alhamdulillah you're on the right path. But if everybody prays you, we're doing something wrong. And that's, that's the reality is that Allah always going to send people that, that make hardship and difficulty for His servants to test them and grant them Allah's victory, not the dunya's victory. Allah's victory is through patience and perseverance. That's why you have to be listening and I have to be listening and reminding myself of the talks. And then we put all of these talks together to understand what is it that Allah wants from us. When, when we want to have sabr and patience through all these difficulties, Allah reminds, didn't we talk that if I want to dress you from sabr and my sifat is sabr, don't expect anything in life. It's your expectation that makes everything to be hard. 
And now unfortunately the children have, have destroyed themselves with expectations. What they expect to look like, what they expect to earn, where they expect to live, what they expect to drive, what they expect to be like. And they're just a, a, a micro version of this entire dunya now that has so many expectations, nothing is an opening, nothing is of any good. When somebody is, is emailing harshly, when are things going to open? Uh, are you thinking things are bad for you? Because you know in one shot Allah gets sick of you, He'll stop everything. You won't have a, a dollar to come, you won't have a, a bite to eat and you won't have a single set of peace on your body. You know if you get sick at night where you can't sleep and you, you can't function, you can't move, there's no, there's no rest, there's no relaxation. Just the fact that you're not sick and you can sleep without pain is an immense blessing. If you can find food to eat is an immense blessing. How many children don't have food and their parents have to not put anything in their own mouth just to give something to their children? Means this world has many, many hardships. For someone not to see the grace and the rahmah of Allah is a sign of a big sickness, It's a big sickness. That's why I said when you email you reveal more of yourself than probably you understood. When you email with this type of things, when are things going to open for me? Oh, so you're not happy with what you already have? Do you know if Allah take away the mentality and mentalness of, uh, of your family, what happens? When everyone starts to go mentally insane and shaitan, just touch somebody and all the mentality will go and become completely psychotic and crazy. You lose your job and you can't find it and you live in countries where they don't give monthly welfare checks. And you have a place uh, to sleep and you don't have that anymore. Life can be so difficult that for a servant not to be thankful in these days is, is, is immensely sad. And, and for people who want to write like that, uh, you have to review what, what you're writing and, and think again. If you're in the Western world with whatever Allah gave to you, however it's difficult, that's Allah loving you. Then Allah want to give these to raise your darajat and that we have so much alhamdulillah from the ni'mat of Allah and so many blessings. If you can sleep at night you're 100% ahead, if your mentality is working and you're not under the attack of waswas you're 100% ahead. If you have rizq and some sustenance coming alhamdulillah and Allah says, thank me and I give you more. Don't be na shukr where you don't have a shukr and, and you're always thinking not sufficient from Allah in these holy nights, that's a reminder because when we talk about holy, holy and all the shaykhs come out and say, this is a holy blessed night, people are thinking it's like a big checks are coming in the mail, that you're going to get all sorts of bonuses and checks coming and then the holiness for Allah is, I'm going to give you lights but it's going to cost you something. And then you get sick and then you have difficulties, you have all sorts of, of hardships. And these are upon the physicality and Allah raising the darajat of that soul inshaAllah with His Divinely light and to be in the present making souls to be kings so that they can sit in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah wants no one less than a king to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad When He makes this honourable king He wants only one worthy of going in the presence of that reality to be a king also, means Allah raised the darajat of creation so that to give more honour and status to the, to the immense reality of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah dress us and, and bless us from these realities and on these holy nights give us sabr, Ya Rabbi just grant us and remind us of sabr and that uh, the struggle is for us and victory for you Ya Rabbi Allah. That, uh, victorious love of Sayyidina Muhammad to dress us, our family, our community and all the ashiqeen that are gathering around this fire as the world is entering into darkness inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.